Thank you for joining me here today. I know how hectic life can be. Welcome. Today I'd like to dive deep into meditation and the massive benefits for its mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Stress is a horrible thing. Let's talk about reducing stress in your life. Meditation offers a powerful antidote to this stress. By taking a few minutes each day to practice mindfulness and meditation, we can significantly reduce the stress levels in our lives. How is this achieved? You can find a quiet place to either lie down or sit in a comfortable chair. It's best to reduce all pressure points on your body. The reason being is when you're meditating, you're trying to displace your mind from your body. So you don't want anything on your body that's going to cause too many distractions or bring you back to the physical world. So you sit or you lie down in a comfortable position. You use a mantra. The mantra I like to use is simple. It goes like this. I'm na ma. Now you might be thinking, what does that mean? It means absolutely nothing. And that's the whole point. Mantra should be completely nonsensical because what a mantra is trying to do when you lie down or sit down to meditate is it's just distracting you from all of the other ideas that come flying in. You'll get a whole abundance of ideas that will keep trying to distract you back to the physical world. These ideas will try to remind you of your past and your future. It is not taking you um, into the mindfulness of the present. The mantra will knock these away like an invisible um, shield that will just block you from all of these thoughts that come in. Anytime you feel your mind starting to wander to one of these memories or one of these worries of the future, just repeat your mantra. I'm na ma. I'm na ma. Don't force it. You don't have to verbalize it. You can say it in your mind. Just let it flow. You do this for anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes twice a day. You just close your eyes. What I like to do is put some headphones on or earbuds in. I like to tune into a YouTube channel with white noise that goes on for, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. Or, you know, there are certain frequencies I like to tune into. Uh, frequency 40 is a really good Hertz frequency to help retune your left and right hemispheres to your brain. Hemisync, they call it. So I recommend that. But just lie down or sit down in a comfortable chair or lie down on a bed and just close your eyes with the headphones or earbuds in, blocking out the material world. Just focus on the mantra. Don't force it. Don't battle it. Just let it be. Your mind will eventually detach itself from your body and you will feel it. You will feel it because your mind will be conscious. You will be able to manipulate your thoughts. You will be able to input strong visualizations into your subconscious mind. And that's the key. What we want to do is twofold with meditation. We want to relax, re reduce our stress in our lives, but we also want to create and in order to create, we need to focus on certain goals that we want to achieve. Certain visualizations. And these visualizations don't have to be long. They can be 15, 20 second visualizations of what your goal is, how you want to change your life, how you want to change your personality, your perspective on life. Now, the key to this whole thing is you need to not just visualize this. You need to wrap this visualization into an emotional blanket because the conscious mind, the transmitter of these ideas 
into the subconscious mind is a logical analytical mind but the subconscious mind which accepts everything that's put into it is a emotional mind it cannot differentiate between past present and future it can't differentiate between material reality and what you put into it the visualizations um, but it is an emotional mind and it, it is the receiver for your original thoughts. So you send the thoughts into the subconscious mind through your conscious mind, through detailed visualizations wrapped up in an emotional blanket. And what does that mean? It means like, say you wanna, you wanna earn a certain amount of money per month or per year. That has no emotional significance except that it's just a number. But if you start trickling down in detail what that will do to your life, the life of your family and your friends, how that will affect them in the positive way, then you can start creating an emotional attachment to that goal. So, you know, say you want to make a million dollars a year. How would that affect your life, your, your family, your friends? Uh, how can you help people around you? How, how will that have an emotional impact on the people you know, or even strangers? Um, that you have to start, um, you have to start nurturing that emotional response. So through meditation, um, you have the opportunity of doing the twofold. You can do it for relaxation, which is healthy for your mind, your body, and your emotional state. It also helps you connect to source and create your reality. Now, what do I mean by source? Source is what scientists are now calling the quantum realm. And what source is, is source is pure potential energy and consciousness. So how does this work? Well, we all come from source. Everything in the material world begins as an idea, a concept. You, as a human being, started as a concept by your parents, an idea. That idea then was nurtured through conception, your parents operating on specific vibrational frequencies that then overlapped when they conceived you. That's called genetic conditioning. Then once you're born, you're then, you then start to encounter environmental conditions, and that becomes environmental conditioning. The people you surround yourself with, the schools you go to, the, um, the social activities you have, this all determines to a great deal your personal um, perspective on the world. Now, there's the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The conscious mind operates at five to 10% capacity at all times. The subconscious mind operates at a 90% uh, capacity at all times. So what does that mean? It means that the subconscious mind operates the majority of our daily operations. The, because what it does is it, it determines your personality your traits. Everything that makes up you comes from your subconscious mind. But here's the paradox, right? The paradox is nothing goes in the subconscious mind that doesn't filter through the conscious mind first. So how does this work? Well, the conscious mind has its five senses. It has taste, touch, smell, seeing, and hearing. Those are the five senses. That's how we digest the world around us. And those are heavily dictated, those five senses, by our genetic conditioning, right? Because the genetic conditioning is essentially the root of who we are, at least when we start out as, as babies, toddlers. But then we get those vibrational frequencies start to change based on environmental conditions. Those environmental conditions then start to shift our consciousness. And what we allow in through those five senses, through our conscious mind, our analytical mind, gets dropped down into the subconscious mind. And that subconscious mind retains all long-term memories, 
Everything you've ever experienced is saved in the subconscious mind. And in another video, we can talk about how do you extract memories and thoughts, past experiences from the subconscious mind. That's a whole nother technique. And that's, that goes into therapeutic um, you know, work with psychi psychiatrists and psychologists to help change your subconscious mind. Um, but on the surface here, uh, initially, what you want to do is be aware that the subconscious mind, like I said before, has no concept of time space. It doesn't understand the difference between past, present, and future. It doesn't understand the difference between what is materialistically true and what you place into it. Now think about that. The subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's materialistically happening and what you're telling it happens. Now, how does this work? That means that all of these visualizations, I want to make a million dollars a year. You don't say, I want to make a million dollars a year. You say, I make a million dollars a year. You, you say everything in present tense, because if you say, I want to make a million dollars a year, then the subconscious mind reaches back to source, and we'll get to that in a second. The subconscious mind reaches back to source, and it says, okay, well, he wants to make a million dollars a year, but he's not making a million dollars a year. You have to speak in present tense because the subconscious mind doesn't realize the past, present, or future. But what the subconscious mind does is if you say, I make a million dollars a year, I make $85,000 a month, the subconscious mind then connects to source. The subconscious mind is a direct link back to the quantum realm. It's like a Wi-Fi signal back to the quantum realm. That will then create a series of synchronicities in your life and it will reorganize, the, literally reorganize the universe to the will of that visualization. I make a million dollars a month. What does that mean? Or a million dollars a year, say. What does that mean in the material world? I make a million dollars a year. That's present tense. That means I'm doing it now. I make a million dollars a year. That's what I do right now. This is how I do it. I do it through podcasting. I do it through YouTube. I do it through my movies, my, my online books that I sell through Amazon. This is a general overview. The specificity comes from the universe. The universe will realign its energies in the most efficient way to give you what you are experiencing. That's just, a, that's a scientific fact. Another scientific fact is called the law of attraction. Now the law of attraction says, and this is what Einstein said too, is everything is energy. That's all there is to it. Tune into the correct energy frequency and you will tune into your life's goals. So say I want to make a million dollars a year to help my friends and family. How am I going to experience that specific frequency? I'm going to do it through altered states of consciousness. I'm going to do it through meditation, through breath work. I'm going to do it through visualization techniques, very detailed visualization techniques wrapped in an emotional blanket. I know what a million dollars a year would do for my friends and family. I know how much it would help because we're all blue collared, working class people, you know. We could, we, all of us could use that little extra money in our bank account for emergencies, you know, to relieve that stress. So I have an emotional attachment to that number and I can visualize that. I can visualize what my life is like making a million dollars a year. So those are visualization techniques that I do through my meditation every day. 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon, over and over and over and over and over. Now there are days when I do, I don't do visualization, I just do meditation just to relax, to, to decompress from the world around me, to be in the present moment. But the health benefits, the emotional benefits, the focal, the mind focus benefits have been extraordinary. In the last month, I have 
through, I've been meditating now for going on almost five months. And in the last four weeks, I have published over 25 meditation videos ranging from 15 to 30 minutes a piece. It is extremely beneficial to meditate. And despite how, how hectic your life might be, how stressed out you might be, how you don't think this would work, you don't buy into any of this, you don't have to buy into it. That's the whole point. This is not a religion. This is not some esoteric study that, you know, you have to, you know, spend years reading these old tomes and all this stuff. This is basic science and it's a gift we give ourselves. We are beings of energy. That's a scientific fact. That can be, that can be um, monitored. The energy levels in our minds can be monitored. Everything in the universe is energy and that's all there is to it. Albert Einstein said that. Energy can never be destroyed. So when we die, we don't die. Our consciousness and our energy leave the material world and go back to source. Then all the molecular uh, structures that kept, that stayed together, that glue that left, goes back to source because it's eternal. Energy is eternal. It just changes. Our bodies begin to dissolve back to energy, back to the pure form that they came from. And, you know, so there's, there's nothing to really fear about death. There, yeah, we've kind of gotten off topic with this, but, but this is a very important aspect to who we are as, as human beings. There is a certain fear factor that we have hotwired into us because of the way our society has structured our existence. They, they tell us that we're not, we're nothing but meat sacks, and that's not true. We are energy beings, and we operate on specific vibrational frequencies. Everything operates on specific vibrational frequencies. And as Einstein said, <clears throat> through the law of attraction, you tune into the frequency you want to experience and you will experience that frequency. And that's what visualization techniques do for you. They literally change the, the mindset that then ends in the physical results of what you put into the subconscious mind. Retune your frequency through meditation, through breath, breath work, and through visualization techniques and you will change your life. Miracles are created this way. If you follow anyone like Dr. Joe Dispenza on YouTube and his organization, there are miracles that are taking place that, you know, the big newscasters will not report on because they have their own specific agenda and that agenda is to push whatever they're trying to push. But miracles are happening. People are waking up. We are in a renaissance like never before because of the level of technology and the communion of our consciousness through social media. We are able to connect in a way that humans have not been able to connect, at least not in this life cycle, in the last 5,000 years of this life cycle. We have never been able to communicate the way we're communicating now. You're hearing my voice. I'm not some crackpot in someone's basement. I am someone that has experienced my own evolutionary um, consciousness, my expansion of consciousness, and I filtered it through my life. I filtered it through my art, through my novels, through my films, through my YouTube channel through my podcast, The Lat Late Show. It's all about tapping into the deep subconscious mind and reorganizing it to best serve your goals, your dreams, what you're on this planet to do. 
We are all here for specific reasons. We all choose these reasons. And when it's our time to go, we will return to source. It's like going back home. It's like going back into that warm bath where you can just float. You don't have to pedal. You don't have to doggy paddle. Like you can just float in this just wonderful, warm source. And then when it's time and you make a decision to come back and lower your vibrational frequency to a more dense vibrational frequency, you will be reborn again as a child. And this cycle goes on forever and ever and ever. And you make the choice. It's not made for you. There's no external source that is telling you that you have to do this. You make the choice. How and why? Because you are source. You are energy. You are the thing. You are the collective. When you, when you are, when you exit that collective, you become a fractured sense of that collective, operating on your own specific frequency. That frequency then becomes a human being or whatever you happen to turn into could be anything. But that's the beauty of this process. This is the key to reality. It's the key to existence. It's, you know, and it's pure science. You know, tune into the frequency that you want to experience and you will experience that frequency. In the multiverse, you will experience it. So you just have to Keep the faith, you have to do the meditation, you have to do the work, and it will manifest itself in your material world. This is Brian Higby. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'm signing off.